Okay, why did you want to study abroad? The main reason I want to, st to study abroad is because I wanted to open my panorama. I wanted to have a global view of different cultures, different languages around the world. Also, I want to make myself an entrepreneur, better and a smarter person. Besides, coming here is a really good chance to practice and improve my Chinese. Could you tell us the main reasons for choosing Taiwan as your study destination? I chose Taiwan mainly because I was studying Chinese in Mexico. And then a good friend of mine told me to come to Taiwan. Also, Taiwan is taking a really important role in the Asian and technological zone. And it's a really improving his economy a lot. Why did you choose this university? I chose this university because it was one of the best universities in the private schools in Taiwan. Also, because I like the program, the GMBA program, which is also taught in English, that is really helpful for me. Besides, I also have Chinese classes. Really few, but I have some Chinese classes a week. Besides, the facilities, the campus is huge. The library is really big, also has a cinema. We have a lot of sports facilities, soccer field, basketball court, and a really nice gym. How is your study going? My studies are doing really good. My master's studies are really, really good right now. I'm trying to get everything I can from every single subject, such as economic development or import and export plans. As for my Chinese, I think my Chinese is getting better and better every day. Nowadays, I can do everything by myself. Which main differences are there between Mexico and Taiwan as regards being a student? Ok, primero tengo que decir que ser un estudiante internacional tiene responsabilidades como representar a tu, a tu país. También el hecho de representar a tu país hace que seas un poco más maduro y responsable de tus cosas. Segundo, el lenguaje. En México solo hablo en español y pocas veces en inglés. Aquí me veo obligado hablar en chino y en inglés, lo cual es perfecto para practicar el idioma. Y tercero, el campus de mi universidad aquí en Taiwán es muy grande, lo cual en México es un poco más pequeño. Aquí el gimnasio es nuevo, tenemos este, campos de fútbol, básquetbol y es muy muy bonito. In your opinion, what is the most important outcome as an international student in Taiwan? The most important outcome being here is that I can learn from different countries around the world, such as European countries, Asian countries, American and African countries, which helps me to understand their culture, economies, and now I, can, I have a lot of friends from different parts of the world, which is going to help me a lot in my education. Is there any personal experience as a foreign student in Taiwan you would highlight? Yeah, of course. By being a foreigner student, a lot of Taiwanese people treat you really nice. It's incredible to see how kind they are. For example, once I was traveling from north to south in Taiwan by my own. I made one person trip and it's really amazing to see how they treat you. Sometimes they even invited me to go to their houses, invited me to have dinner with them without knowing me. Also, it is really great to know that they can give you this warm that you don't have at home. It is really good. What would you tell students from Mexico before they move to Taiwan? Okay, aunque Taiwan ha sido y es uno de los mejores lugares donde he vivido, tienen que saber que la cultura es totalmente diferente. Desde la comida, la forma de pensar, la forma de hacer las cosas. Por ejemplo, si van a venir acá, tienen que venir preparados y traer un poco de comida enlatada porque los primeros días va a ser un poco difícil para ustedes. En, cual, en cuanto al idioma, es totalmente diferente. Tienen que también estudiar un poco de chino para darse a entender, ya sea en el restaurante, eh, donde van a vivir, etc. Una cosa muy chistosa fue cuando me despedí de una amiga aquí. Nosotros somos un poco abiertos, ellos no lo son tanto. Entonces, cuando me despedí de ella, me despedí de beso 
Ella se asustó y pensó que la quería besar. 